Welcome back to the channel. I'm Don. And I'm Rachel. And this is Living on the Apex. And in today's video, we're taking you guys on a hot tent camping adventure. And believe it or not, we are about three miles away from one of the coldest places in America. And I'm going to tell you about that here in a little bit. It was nine degrees this morning. Nine degrees <laughs> driving in. It was insane. And our dinner tonight is going to be very unique. It's a recipe that I learned from a friend in the Army. And I've got a story behind it. How was that? Good. <laughs> Be honest. It's good. The drink or the walk? <laughs> the walk was rough. <laughs> done that so many times. You need to start bringing like dominoes or something. So like we were saying, where we're camping is about three miles from one of the coldest places in the lower 48. Peter Sinks has a record temperature of negative 69 degrees in 1985. Negative 69, that is unbelievable. And last year it got down to like negative 62 or 64 right around in February. But even during the summer months, Peter Sinks it doesn't go four consecutive days without freezing, even during the summer months. So this place can get extremely cold, and we're expecting it to get really cold tonight. Our stove is doing really good right now, but it's not too chilly outside. We did bring our diesel heater kind of as backup to give us some extra heat if we need it.
we decided to do a little snowshoe and as if we haven't done enough hard work today. That was some pretty difficult, treacherous uh, pulling of sleds. We both had two pretty heavy loads. But seriously, it's just an absolute beautiful day, so it's a perfect day to do some snowshoeing. Okay, we got a real special recipe tonight. And it's a recipe that I learned uh, while I was in the army in Thailand. I had a buddy, his name was Vili Gomez. He was from the island of Saipan, which is in the Pacific, of course. And so spam is a big deal there. And we were going to Thailand for 44 days and he told us, he told me and my buddy Nails, he said, hey, you guys pack tomato sauce and spam i'll bring the seasoning and i'll do the cooking and so we're gonna make we call it spam and rice and this is like almost 30 years ago i learned this recipe and we cooked it for our kids we would eat it every once in a while you know it wasn't all the time but so this is a pretty simple recipe but we're gonna go ahead and cook it up tonight we already cooked up our rice it's ready to go in the pan and so i'm just gonna start cutting up the spam. It's gonna taste pretty good. Okay, this is uh, the seasoning that we used over 30 years ago. It's called uh, Sazon Goya, Sazon. I don't know how to pronounce it, but one package of this. We'll toss that in there. A little pinch of Himalayan salt. Maybe a little more than a pinch. There we go. Let's try that. How's it taste? Come here. Come native, my mama. Come here. Good. Get up here. Lay down. Okay, what I want to do is just kind of give you an overview of our tent and the way we have it set up and some of the items that we use inside of our hot tent. And I'll do a little bit of a quick review on this Amazon hot tent stove and just kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of what I think about it. Okay, first things first, of course, we have our hot tent stove there. Got all our firewood kind of sitting over there. 
Rachel has this cot kind of up against the edge over there. And you see we got this little table that we got from Harbor Freight. It was like on sale for like 20 bucks and it folds up pretty small. And then you got my my cot and my sleeping area there. And Belle has her own little her own little bed, which I think I did a review on that or no, it was part of the Christmas uh, video that I did of gifts, but it's currently 66 degrees in here and it is nice and we have a cheap little LED light that we just hang up there in the top of our tent. All right, I want to go ahead and just talk to you a little bit about this hot tent stove that we got for our for our bell tent. We got this little stove from Amazon. It was one of the cheapest stoves that you could buy. And one of the reasons we do that, it isn't like just because we're Amazon affiliates doesn't mean we're always going to buy from Amazon. A lot of it just has to do with budget. And just like this bell tent, it was within our price range. This stove was in our price range. And maybe we'll upgrade it at some point. They have some amazing stoves with glass doors and all kinds of cool things. But this little stove has done real well for us. But there are a few things that you need to know. Number one... The legs are real flimsy and they'll bend and you have to like constantly make sure that they're not bent down so much that the, the stove is sitting really low. Another issue, the thing gets really hot on the bottom and every stove does, but I had to haul in eight bricks just to keep that thing up off the ground. And I know I have this mat that's fireproof, but it gets super hot that the, that the tent underneath begins to melt. Also, the... The dampener, I went ahead and bought a new dampener, like a six inch attachment on the on the pipe and put one on there and I'll show that to you here. So there's a few things you wanna do to kind of upgrade it. By the time you're done, you, you probably have added about another $30, $40 into your tent. Plus, I bought some better pipes and it extends it a little higher since we have a 13 foot tent. You need to have that pipe above your tent the spark arrestor so anyhow other than that this little stove's done a good job my son-in-law and my daughter they borrowed it when they went hunting for a moose up in idaho and it worked great for them they had the 10 foot bell tent and it kept them nice and warm but right now it's it's 69 degrees in here it feels real good I'd say we had a pretty good evening we stayed nice and warm it did snow last night the wind blew a little bit we decided to hook up the diesel heater and pump some heat in here it definitely kept it right about 75 degrees with the stove going and the diesel heater running but we ended up letting the stove go out and I kind of wanted that to happen because I wanted to see if the diesel heater could warm up this big tent and it, it kept it probably around 60 something maybe 55 we didn't have the thermometer in i've got it outside just to check the temperature out there but gonna head outside and see how much snow's out there we will see you guys in a little bit well we're done here we packed up and we're about to head out we just wanted to wish you guys a merry christmas and a happy new year and the next time we'll see you guys is 
January 3rd when we do a video to announce the winner for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link to it in the description and it'll be right here, right above us. You can click on that link, watch that video. It's about five minutes long. Make sure you're a subscriber and comment and we'll get you guys entered into the, the contest. We're giving away a $100 gift card and a free t-shirt. So we appreciate all of you guys. We hope you have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas.